The North Atlantic Conference Men's and Women's Track and Field Championships played out Sunday at Colby Sawyer's Sally Shaw of H Track and Field Facility under soggy conditions, as rain fell for the majority of the day and temperatures hovered in the mid-40s. That didn't stop the athletes, however, as teams from nine schools made the trip to the championships, with six varsity teams competing for the title on the women's side and seven on the men's side, along with two club teams. In the women's competition, Hassan came in as a defending champion, but preseason favorite Colby Sawyer looked to keep the Eagles from making it two in a row, along with the rest of the non-club teams eligible for championship titles. In the 100-meter dash, Castleton's Sierra Ostro Remy didn't let the wet weather slow her down as she took the top spot to go along with teammate Brielle DeBase's title in the discus throw, giving the Spartans two medals on the day. We kind of practice in rain, like on and off. We don't really let, let, water, let weather stop us at practice, so it didn't really make like a huge impact. I'm <laughs> really proud of myself and like our team and how we're doing. So. New England College took home their sole championship medal of the meet, courtesy of Erica Notini, who dominated the 3,000 meter steeplechase, winning by over a minute. Husson had a strong showing in their championship defense, taking home titles in nine events, with Brooke Hoopel taking the top spot in the 200 meter dash, Carrie Ann Downing winning the 100 meter hurdles, Paige Rainford cruising to victory in the 400 meter hurdles, and both of their relay teams winning titles in the 4x100 and 4x400. In the field events, the Eagles of Husson added hardware with wins by Jacqueline McDonald in the pole vault, Casey Modry in both the long and triple jumps, and Aaron Ellison with the top spot in the hammer throw. But in the end, Colby Slayer had too much firepower, taking home the overall title with a strong showing in the individual running events, getting wins in the 400 meter dash with Amanda Martin taking first place, the 800 meter where Emily Lopez took home the title, and both the 1500 and 5000 meter as Kylie Parker took home her two medals. That was the first for 15, second time I've read this year, so that's good. We were just putting me to put in, uh, trying to get points, so that was kind of unexpected, but. I was just trying to hang with the pack for as long as possible and then just see where it went the last lap. The Chargers also had a strong showing in the field events as Emily Lopez added to her medal haul with a title in the high jump. Imani Robinson won the shot putt by almost half a meter over her teammate Rachel Quay, who snagged Colby Sawyer's seventh medal on the day in the jab. Which combined with the strong team effort by the Chargers gave them their first ever North Atlantic Conference Women's Track and Field Championship. Hudson University wasn't far behind, finishing as conference runner-up, with UMaine Farmington finishing in third, followed by Castleton in fourth, New England College in fifth, and Johnson State in sixth. In the NAC, we stand together. We are 10 schools in three states, with over 3,000 student athletes. We are committed to fair play and mutual respect. Yet, when one of us becomes a victim of sexual assault, it's on us. It's on us. It's on us. All, All of us. We recognize that non-consensual sex is rape. It's serious, it's real. It's happening on college campuses across the country. Anyone can be a victim. Everyone can be a solution. It's on us to stop sexual assault. To, to get, get in the way, way before, before it happens. happens. To be more than just an opponent. To be an ally. To be more than just a teammate. To, to be, be a, a friend. friend. To look out for each other. To create an environment in which sexual assault is unacceptable. It's on us. In the NAC, we stand together. Because when you're a victim of sexual assault, no one should stand alone. Ten schools, one conference. It's, it's on, on us. us. All of us. On the men's side of things, the Chargers of Colby Sawyer also came in as a preseason favorite with a powerful squad, and they certainly lived up to their preseason expectations as they joined their female counterparts taking home the title with 12 championship medals. It's taken a lot of hard work and determination this season. We knew our men's team looked really strong, but our women, we knew we had to dig deep across all the events, and so um, we were just really excited to be able to pull that off today, and it's really just a tribute to the athletes. They worked really hard for it, and they picked up points where they needed to pick up points, so I'm really proud of them. The Chargers were led by nationally ranked shot putt thrower Carl Nyholm, who broke a school record in the shot putt, sprinter Rashid Foster, and distance runner Brandon Legendre. They each took home two individual titles, with Nyholm winning the shot putt and discus throw, despite the wet, slippery conditions, as the rain lit up slightly later in the day, just in time for the shot putt event where he broke the school record. 
I held off and circle got dry and man, I managed to get a good throw up. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Basically, I also could be in the discus, got a good throw there, not quite a PR, but I can't be, uh, I can't be that sad about that. It was also his longest of the year and good enough to rank him nationally. Uh, I'm currently 16th in nationals, apparently. Uh, hopefully, I don't get bumped out of that uh, in the next few weeks. So, yeah, hopefully, I can stay in that and uh, go to Iowa. Joining him with two individual titles apiece were sprinter Rashid Foster with wins in the 100 meter and 200 meter, and distance runner Brandon Legendre taking home wins in the 800 and 1500 meter events. I uh, feel really good, despite the weather conditions. Those are the best. I've been new in the ECSC coming up. But like, I'm on the borderline for national, so, but that's what I want to put it for right now. Legendre and Foster also had the third match each for their part in winning the 4x4. Meter and 4 by 100 meter respectively. Other Chargers winning titles were Kyle Diesel in the 400 meter, Benjamin Bunnell in the 5,000 meter, Curtis Warren in the pole vault, and Colin Robinson in the triple jump. Finishing runner-up in the inaugural men's championship was Castleton with four title winners, one in running events and three in field events. Austin Beauregard took home the 110 meter hurdle title, while Dudley Israel won the high jump. Taylor Larmy the hammer throw, and Bowen Lord the javelin throw. Humane Farmington wasn't too far behind in the points and took home one individual title, Shane Hathaway, in the 400 meter hurdles. Following in fourth overall was Husson, which saw Miguel Caballero win the long jump, and in fifth overall was New England College, who Scott Shaw took home the title in the 3,000 meter okay. steeplechase. And rounding out the field was Green Mountain College in sixth place, Johnson State in seventh.